Hey Pumpkin, it's YouTube Wednesday. So I'm documenting an idea that I have, and I just want to see if it'll work. I had this idea the other day, and I haven't really been able to get it out of my head. So let's try it. This is the interior height. This is the center post. This one happens to be 10 inches. Of course, I can make them smaller and bigger. And I want to split this long ways. I really want to go exactly in half. That's the most effective. That long. I want to go exactly in half with these then. Okay. So this is.
this YouTube Wednesday really went off the rails. Um, now, the project is fine. The, uh, the pumpkin is fine. It's not what I started out to make. Uh, I started to do something else. Uh, I didn't actually even get the start on it because this idea popped into my head about making a pumpkin out of um, pool noodles. And uh, while this is not perfect, and I didn't bother to seal up every single piece of it, um, for what I use pumpkins for most of the time, to set decor, this is great for set decor, um, it's very light. Uh, I did not make a stem for it. I could easily make one of those um, out of spray foam or you know, spray foam, EVA foam, whatever, uh, and put it on there. Uh, and I'll probably do that before the end of the video. But uh, just this concept of pool noodles. Now this used um, 18 of these spheres. Uh, now each piece was cut two feet long and then cut in half. So each pool noodle that I got gave me four spheres. So that means that this took Let's see, um, there's almost, there's less than $5 worth of pool noodle in this pumpkin. Um, I also hit it with a little bit of cobwebs for with weld wood. Um, and what that did was that just did a little bit of melding in between the layers to make them, um, you know, I, I didn't like that it was open. So I just closed it up mostly. Uh, now you probably put a light in there and that would look kind of cool. Um, so if you count the weld wood, um, that is not even a can, so let's say half a can, so that's six bucks. You have an $11 cost at this point, uh, throw in a buck for some fake ivy at Dollar Tree and uh, do your leaves with that, um, or maybe do a bunch of pumpkin stems and leaves out of Loctite foam. So let's let's do that. Um, and then you're adding seven dollars. So then you're talking about a pumpkin this size for fifteen dollars. In the store, it's a thirty dollar pumpkin, but this is probably an hour and a half of your time. Um, I made this guy in under two hours, having never done it before, and figuring it out as I went. So. Um, I, I think that I could get this down to probably Let's make a stem. This is Loctite spray foam. It is different than Great Stuff spray foam. Please don't think they're the same thing. Yes, this is six or seven dollars a can. It's worth it. It just has different properties. One of those properties is that it's kind of sculptable as soon as it gets a skin. And moisture in the air helps it to skin faster. I like things that are faster. So I want to um, do a couple leads. That's a big leaf. This will be a big leaf. Let's do a stem. And my stem is going to look like a turd pile for now. But we'll make it look like a stem here in a bit. You wet both sides of whatever it is you're working on. Remember I wetted the plastic first with the spray bottle? That's what, This is surrounded by moisture. Moisture helps it cure. Alexa, countdown, five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. I don't want to touch it right now. Right now, if I touch it, it'll stick to my finger. So I want it to form a skin on the outside, and then I can kind of shape it through that skin. My leaves have sat now for about six minutes. I, I touched them at five, they weren't quite ready. But I feel good about them now. 
Um, so now I'm just going to kind of pat on them. And uh, if, if they're sticky, just get your fingers wet, but they shouldn't be very sticky. And you can see I'm just kind of patting them down because leaves are pretty flat. And these were uh, separate like streams, so I am making them all be one flat piece. Uh, and I'm going to pinch to get some sharpness to the leaves. What I don't want to do is I don't want to break the skin on this. I do not want to break the skin. Okay, and now that I have this pretty flat, I'm actually going to pinch the veining in that you would find uh, in a leaf. I'm just going to pinch right up the root of that to there. This way my leaf is going to have all of the anatomy that a leaf ought to have. Get here to our stem. I know that this guy is going to take some work, but it's formed a nice bag basically. It's like a bag of marshmallow fluff. And I'm trying to sculpt the marshmallow fluff through a plastic bag almost. So I don't want to break that. And I'm going to pinch it and put some ridges in it because the ridges are going to do a couple things. They're going to make it look more like a stem and they're going to add strength so it holds itself up easier. I'm going to move on again over to this leaf for another time and uh, I'm reinforcing what I did before. I'm putting back in this little vein that I put in here where it's kind of trying to puff up. I'm flattening it out. And uh, this guy has sat here long enough, I'm going to try and peel it up. Okay, I now have a very floppy, very soggy kind of uh, leaf. And, uh, but I think it's going to look nice. If you know that these are going to go in, in your yard on the ground, then I would uh, put a piece of rebar on coming out of this, and then you go right through that hole and pin it down to the ground. So this pins it down to the ground, and uh, that'll be effective. And now I'm going to take my big leaf, and I want to drape it over the side of the pumpkin do that again here. Still shaping, still reinforcing. A little bit of Loctite to attach this guy because I don't know what I'm doing with my pump. I will update this tutorial down the road because I'm going to do this a couple more times. And this was more of an experiment than a tutorial because I had never done this before. Uh, I just thought it was possible. Uh, but I'm actually pretty happy with how this pumpkin turned out. I like that it's got a nice clean hole through it and I can put my um, attachment to the ground right up here. And um, at, so my total cost, this one, is that $11. But I can bring that cost down uh, just by changing up a couple things. And you can make these just about any size that you want as long as you're okay with your pumpkin ribs being this wide. Um, I'm going to try this with uh, having a disc to attach them to at top and bottom. Attaching them just to that post was a bit difficult. 
but uh, I'm still happy with how this turned out. This is a nice uh, pumpkin that is 100% uh, waterproof. It's, it's pool noodle. It's pool noodle and then it has uh, spray paint on it because you can spray paint pool noodles. And it has a stem uh, that is Loctite foam, which is uh, way better and more UV resistant than great stuff is. And spray paint. So uh, this is a pumpkin and I'm blown away by how, honestly, how little it weighs and kind of how good it looks. I will say, I do not think that this is suitable as is for carving into like a jack-o'-lantern. This is more like if you want to have a pumpkin patch or some fake pumpkins around. So that is much more what this is for. I mean, my favorite kind of pumpkin is a fairy tale pumpkin and I sort of went for that. Um, I'm not even sure I did its best side. But anyway, it's YouTube Wednesday. Hey, go make stuff! Pumpkin, full pumpkin, what about that whole pumpkin?